Hi YouTube! Um, so I wanted to make a video about Arabian incense, um, which is otherwise known as Bahor or Oud. And the reason why I want to make this video is because back then, back in the day when I lived in London, I used to have a few of my friends uh, who used to come over and they always would say, you know, always would comment about the scent of the house because my mom used to love to do Bahor all the time in the house and to burn it and the scent would always linger even when, you know, the days where she didn't burn the Bahor and all we would do it on our clothes and stuff so they would always comment on like the nice scent so and now that I've moved out and I live, you know, I live away from my mum, I've carried on the tradition, I do the Bukhul in the house. A lot of people from like an Arabic uh, background do tend to use Bukhul, but I've noticed recently some people that who, you know, who are from different backgrounds are also, you know, starting to know about it and are starting to use it. Um, so that's why I wanted to talk a bit more about it, how you burn it. Uh, the way I've learnt to, to do it, how you, how I learnt to burn it, what to use it for um, and a few tips and tricks. So I hope you enjoy this video and stay tuned. Okay so the first thing we're going to start off with is the Bahul burner which is well mine, mine is this big one here but I've also got a smaller one right here and the reason why I have two is because, first of all, if I need something that is a bit smaller to fit in a smaller space, I use this. Or if I need to do Bahur upstairs and downstairs, I use one upstairs and on downstairs. So it's good to have more than one. And you can get them in all different shapes as well. So you've got some that actually are closed at the top on, and these would probably be the best ones to use on your hair. And obviously you'd need Bahur, which uh, I keep mine in this glass jar. This it was actually a bit made by my mum. She makes it from scratch, like literally cooks it, adds all the ingredients and it's absolutely beautiful. For anyone who lives in the Middle East, um, in, in particular in Dubai or Qatar, if you'd like to order some of this, just get in contact with me and I'll let you know. So that's what I use normally. But then you can also get some that look Something like this. So this, what I've just shown you is the bahur, yeah? so It's um, it's basically been mixed together with in with the scented oils and sugar and misc and all other types of ingredients. Now that can come in different price points. You can get them quite cheap, and you know they can get expensive ones. But then if you needed something on a budget, those are definitely the ones go for. Oud is much much more expensive, literally so expensive. I didn't even realize how much until I went shopping with my sister and my uh, mum and when they were buying them, subhanAllah, it's so expensive. So I only got a little bit of this. Oud is literally the purest of forms. This is literally just the wood, the scented wood. If you burn this on its own, it's very very strong. Um, and that's why it's so expensive uh, to get one of these, to get these basically. And that's why I keep a little for special occasion. So the next essential item is um, obviously coal. You can get these, you know, magic coals, which you just have to burn them for a little bit and they'll burn on their own for a while. They come, I buy a box, but you can also get them in these little, um, little packets and uh, they're like small little discs they're quite convenient because they burn very quickly but they also have a nice uh, like the way they're shaped it's uh, it helps to put the bahur on top of them to basically keep the bahur on the core but then i also have this type of core which is the type my mom loves and uses a lot of and that's why she gave me some and this is more of the rounded one and you'd literally break it off. The reason why my mom likes these a lot is because um, they, they apparently they they burn a bit slower and not so you know they're not so strong, so they don't burn the 
super hot too too quickly and then obviously you get that burning smell after some time which is what can happen with the other ones you have to take off the bahul quite quickly from the uh, from the coal but these ones you just literally apparently you just leave it I haven't uh, myself used them just yet but then my mom just brought them for me so I will be giving them a go and you'll need something to burn the coal with so I use a blowtorch but then people with gas hobs can also use can also put the coal on the gas hob with obviously the tweezers not the tweezers whatever they're called the little gosh I forgot the name for them literally my brain is just just like forgotten <laughs> but yeah you use these what are they they're not pliers or tweezers are they I don't know what they're called now but anyway <laughs> these are very important because this is what you handle the coal with um, obviously when it's very very hot so you'll need one of them I just hang mine on this now for the optional things which you don't have to use but uh, I like to use so I use foil to cover the tops of where I'll be putting the um, the coal so like this one rather than just putting it right here and then getting this all dirty and obviously having to have a longer you know time to clean it I just put that in there and then when I'm done I just pick it up and throw it away so it's really good to use oh my hands are so dirty now so if you're using the pure scented wood I got a tip from one of my aunties is that you put a little bit of utter on the on the wood and then burn it and then apparently the smell is so much more better for those people who don't know what utter is utter is a uh, scented oil that people put directly onto their skin or onto their clothes obviously when you're putting on clothes be careful of staining but this can also be used to add a bit of oomph to your bahur or oud to your oud in particular last but not least when i'm doing bahur on clothes sometimes uh, i give it a bit of extra scent using one of these sprays this one's from rasasi it's one of my favorite things to use. I use it on all upholstery. So even my sofas, my carpets, my curtains, and obviously clothes. And it just, it smells, I mean, these are, if you don't want to do bahur and you want a quick fix that smells a bit like bahur, I use this. They smell absolutely beautiful. And if you want to accompany the bahur with something else, this is also very nice. They come with different scents. I like the purple one and the blue one. You can get them from Dubai and I've, obviously found some in Qatar as well um, and they are they go for about 35 real 30 to 35 reals which is about seven pounds uh, I'm not sure if they do it in the UK but I'm sure maybe online you could find it and it's called perfume aqua kausar now I'm gonna show you how to actually burn the bahur okay so first I'm gonna start by placing the foil on this on the burner and these once you start burning it you can see little um, sparks flying you'll know it's ready because it will have the a, a bit of a gray ash in the corners um, and that is a sign that it's you know it's time to put the bahor on I'm going to be using the my mother's uh, home, homemade bahur and you want to pick a few big pieces and a bit of the because there's like big pieces and there's also a bit of like the crumbs so you want to put a bit of everything you can also mix so like uh, sometimes I'll use a bit of mine but then on, on the sides I might put another type of bahur just so that I get different scents can mix up the scents a little bit which is wonderful now you see the smoke is coming out from the bahur and now it's time to obviously use it however you see fit so I just want to quickly mention that if you're going to be doing bahur around the house um, first of all I walk around with it so that the scent gets everywhere and then I'll place it somewhere safe so if my son is sleeping I'll put it on the floor 
um, but then if he's around, which I usually don't like to do bahul when he's around because of the obviously the smoke, so I'll put it on a table or somewhere where it's unreachable. Um, you have to be careful though. So once you put the bahul on the coal, don't leave it for too long. Once it burns a while, it will start giving a burnt smell. So when that burnt smell begins, you need to take that bahur off. And if you still want more, you can then place more bahur on the coal to carry on the scent. But then once you're done, you can then take off, first of all, take off the bahur onto the foil part and then so that it doesn't carry on burning and then uh, place the burner I like to put it in the toilet or put it in a room where no one's there until it cools down and it stops smoking. All right, so next I'm going to show you how I use Bahur to scent uh, clothing. obviously the third thing you can use Bahur for is to scent your hair so obviously I can't give you a demonstration of this but for this I would suggest you use the one with the closed top and then you literally just get your hair uh, use your imagination you get your hair and then you just um, weigh you know move the incense burner around so that the smoke penetrates the hair and then you just move it around to the other side of your hair and you lift your hair up so obviously it doesn't touch the incense burner and then you just let the smoke literally penetrate your hair and then just do it for a minute or so and after that your hair will smell go gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so that's it for today if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe for those people who've never tried or never heard of it then you know give it a go a lot of this stuff if you live in the Middle East it's easy to get but then a lot of this stuff is online as well um, like I said if you are interested in the bahur that my mom makes just um, send me a message and we can arrange that if you live in the Middle East um, and what else and that's it if you are someone who uses bahur a lot or ud a lot and you have your own tips and tricks then feel free to share it in the comment section. What I've shown today is just basically what I do and the tips I've been given. Um, but then if you have your own way, then share it with us. I'd love to see and I'd love to try some of your techniques. So until next time, guys, stay sweet, stay humble. Take care. Bye.